Hello everyone, in this video, let's learn about creation of custom security roles for model driven app. Okay, so here first I will my security role must have read facility and write facility but not delete okay so let's create this uh, custom security role here okay so first i need to go to my power apps here in the power apps on the left side you can see solutions right so in these solutions i have created a abc solve one solution here so it contains one app this is a model driven app okay let's create let's check this model driven app and click this so this is a simple uh, model driven app let, let me play this app here so this is my simple model driven app here and if the admin access it uh, he can edit delete and all the operations create read update delete but if a person with user access or basic level he must not uh, delete these items okay so that is a custom role see first let's see what are the roles available here and this is this app is hosted in environment pqr 2024 okay for every environment there will be some users uh, and uh, there will be some security roles so our environment this is environment pqr let's go let's go to this environment first and check what are the security rules available okay to go to this we need to go to admin center for security rules and uh, environment so my environment is pqr 2024 i'm clicking this here you can see on the right side all the security rules Okay, this security rules click the security rules and if you want to create a security rule first copy the available security rules okay so let's see any rules are available yeah I refreshed and we have as Microsoft recommends we need to copy a security rule and create the custom security rule so I will check with here basic user okay I am clicking this one and I am copying this and I am renaming this role basic access or custom role we can create like custom basic user okay i'm copying this one it's creating a new role with the name custom basic user now we copied from the basic user security role which is already available so now let's go to this custom basic user here click this one and you can see all these uh, name permission create read write delete all here and you can select that particular uh, one so what is the table name we are want to work on this uh, let's see we have only one table here in our model driven app that is employee so for employee now here the role I will apply so we need to check where is the employee which is a custom entity so here show all tables we need to check employee let's see custom tables and we need to go here come down to the employees here okay it's a long list because it contains default tables also so 
employee this is our custom one so for now here create is uh, uh, this employee for this custom basic user i will give uh, just read and write okay organization wide i will give read and write and there will be no creation and deletion or else we can, i can create also okay i can create here i can read write and i cannot delete okay so let me save this security rules okay so in this security role security role custom basic user if user can create read write what not delete okay so now let's publish this security roles go to the security roles in the solution select this one and click publish and also you can go to the all on the left side and also you can publish all the customizations now we will apply this security role to a user okay let's see who are the users available in this environment go to environment here and click this environment again and you can see the users okay you have these all these users uh, let's go to Praveen click and let's see what is the role assigned to him manage roles and i will i will remove all the other roles and i will just assign him the new role which we have created custom basic user okay let me save it okay now the role is applied to Praveen here and let's let's share this application model table application with the Raveen. okay so go to basic user go to, okay sorry this is a, okay let's go to the app here and in the pq let's share this app now so go to the uh, we need to add so Praveen must reflect here so let's add Praveen. First, let's uh, add this role here in the PQR. Okay, at present we have basic user one, environment maker, all these things, right? I can also add now custom basic user this one. Okay, after adding this one, click share, and now go to Praveen here and here just assign custom basic user okay it's already assigned to him and now share this application link click play and share this application link with the Previn. so I, in this present browser i am a admin and here if you see Previn is here so in here i will try to paste this application and let's see whether he can create the things uh, okay let's see his sign in some sign in issues are coming let's see okay i can see now here new okay i will click new and i can add something here test one two three four designation manager skills sap and i can save now okay 
so we can create an uh, create a, a record and uh, now let's see go back and you can see the new record and i can edit also here if i click this one again if you come here i can edit this and i can save this and i can go here and now according to us the custom security rule will not allow him to delete okay so select this one and see anything available here you can delete see this is a previn for we, which we have assigned him a custom security rule where he cannot delete but he can read that items create the items and edit the items but the same thing if you see for the admin here he can also see test if he select here he is getting the delete but for this user he is not getting the delete here see observe for admin he is coming delete but the person to whom we have applied this custom security rule he is not able to see the delete this is how we need to apply the custom security rules in model driven apps for dataverse okay thank you for watching and you can also see the custom rules here like this okay this is a uh, legacy ui okay anyways thanks for watching and uh, i hope this video helped you helps you in creation of security roles and assigning them with uh, correct uh, permissions here see here okay for employee for admin we have all these things okay but for the particular user uh, Praveen only we have given create read and edit okay thank you for watching